The repatriation of illegal foreign nationals, including Afghans, to their homeland, is ongoing in a secure and dignified manner, with 1,634 illegal Afghan nationals returning on Sunday, ARY News reported. The total number of repatriated individuals has reached 4, 35, 152, according to official reports. The National Action Plan's Apex Committee, chaired by caretaker PM Anwar al Kakar, set a deadline during a meeting on October 3 for all foreign nationals residing illegally in the country to leave voluntarily by October 31 or face deportation, as reported by ARY News. The Pakistani government is actively facilitating the repatriation process for illegal Afghans at the Torkham and Chaman borders. Kim Jong-un says he will accelerate the country's nuclear build-up, warning of an overwhelming counteraction, if provoked by the United States. North Korea's latest missile had a potential range that could cover the US. North Korea's leader threatened more offensive actions against military threats after supervising the third test of its most advanced missile to date, the country's state media reported on Tuesday. The Department of Blood Bank Services DBBS, has made an urgent appeal to people with O, plus VE, blood type to donate at the Central Blood Bank in Baoshar. DBBS said in a statement, today there is urgent need for blood type O, plus VE. Hurry and donate blood at the Central Blood Bank in Baoshar, as there are patients who are in dire need. The blood donation hours at the Central Blood Bank in Baoshar, from Saturday to Thursday, are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please book your appointment to donate blood via WhatsApp at 94555648, DBBS added. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sent a cable of congratulations to His Excellency President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, on the occasion of his re-election as President of the Republic for a new presidential term. In the cable, His Majesty expressed his sincere congratulations and sincere wishes to His Excellency for good health and happiness, praying to God Almighty to grant His Excellency success in leading the brotherly Egyptian people to achieve all their aspirations towards further progress and prosperity, and for the relations of the two brotherly countries to further develop and flourish. The draws for the final 16 of the UEFA Champions League, the holy grail of football were drawn in Nyon on Monday with holders Manchester City taking on FC Copenhagen, the Danish champion who defeated Manchester United in a group stage tie at home last month, while Arsenal to play Portuguese side FC Porto. Following a thrilling couple of months of group stage action, the focus now shifts to the knockout rounds where 16 teams will fight it out to win the ultimate crown.